I wasn't planning on doing another vlog so soon. It's November the 19th, 2018. Um, but I decided I would have a conversation in continuation with New Sensei and his safety thing. Um, but just based on a little bit of news in regards to my, one of my clubs, the club that I shoot with all winter, um, 17 Wing Archers. <clears throat> It was reported to uh, the club, or to the members, by the president on Sunday morning, which is the morning that we meet, that the last week of October, the MPs discovered uh, three broken arrows and um, a large pool of blood inside our um, inside our range. Seventeen wing is access to property that belongs to the Canadian Air Force, um, so actually, it actually belongs to the Canadian Department of Defense, uh, and it is part of the 17-wing Air Force Base here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and um, we have access to this property. It's, it's offset from the, it's, it's not part of the base proper, it's kind of a nice, isolated little pocket of, of woodland and, uh, well, a bit of a field that we've cleared out. Um, and we have a 3D range inside this, this woodland. And it's something that we're very privileged to have, because we're there by the, by the base commander's grace, right? This, the club exists for the purpose of service members of the Canadian Armed Forces and retired service members of the Canadian Armed Forces to get together and shoot. And the foundation of this club is a large, uh, several gentlemen who are avid hunters. And this gives them a place to practice and prepare for that. And within that property, I mean within the base itself, there's a herd of maybe 20 deer, possibly more, but I'll say 20 to be conservative. And a lot of them like to hang out in our club. One of the jokes that we make is that uh, if it's moving, don't shoot. <laughs> it's that simple. Right, Elsa? It's moving, don't shoot. But the MPs in the last week of October had discovered it, and so um, they were had asked questions of us, or of the club. One MP had asked me about arrows when I was going through the checkpoint one day, and I, of course, knew nothing about it. And he said, well, we'll have a conversation with the club then. I said, okay. So it turns out that there was three broken arrows in a far corner of our trail, and of course the large pool of blood. Now, the conclusion is pretty simple. Someone poached a deer within the city limits of Winnipeg on land that belongs to the Department of Defense of Canada. And they took three arrows to kill this animal. Everything in this behavior is purely criminal. Hunting is hunting. Don't do that inside a city, and you don't do that on Department of Defense land. Just not the way it works. And then we get into the, the whole ethical thing. Three arrows? That animal suffered. The MPs are investigating. I don't know if anything's, if anything's going to come of it. Um, we'll find out. I really doubt this person will be caught. Though, a few years ago, someone had actually shot an animal inside the city limits of Winnipeg in a parking lot, and he posted the images to social media, Facebook, and he got caught. He was actually convicted just a short while ago and sentenced. So, I'm just hoping that these guys are, frankly, just as stupid. It's, from a safety perspective, shooting broadheads inside city limits, under any sets of circumstances, even within the safety circumstances that our range offers, I wouldn't suggest that. 
these people broke for shooting with intent of doing harm. I mean, they're hunters. They can go hunt. They can go get a tag. This is poaching inside city limits. Bad. And the first people that the MPs question, of course, is the club that uses the space. Well, did you do this? Well, of course not. He had nothing to do with it. The privilege of... It puts the... the puts into question the privilege that we have of that space, or potential risk of us having that space to shoot. Because of somebody that's got nothing to do with us. You know, killing animals that, to be honest, we view as pets. Now, don't get me wrong, the hunters within our club, when they see animals, they, they go, ooh, I should hope to see you when I get up, when I get a tag and I go out to the field. Within Winnipeg, we have several, a couple of small herds, and, and these animals aren't, aren't too stupid in the sense that they know that they're, or they know they should be safe inside the city of Winnipeg. A second piece of interesting news, not as upsetting, and this is not safety related, this is bow related. I now know who made this. And I've actually got others of their bows, and I've done reviews of their bows. Top Archery. It's a factory in China that I've got other stuff from. Um, this is unmarked. Other than 45 of 28 in 2017, and then 10, so October 2017. So I've had this bow just over a year. Well, this bow's a year old. I've had it since January, so it's, I haven't had it for a year yet. This is the angular bow that I got because, well, look at it, guys. It's kind of cool looking. It reminds, I think it looks kind of like an Egyptian bow, but it's not. Um, it's, tri it's bamboo with glass, black glass. There are, how many layers of bamboo? One, two, three layers of bamboo. three separate layers of bamboo and then in the riser in the handle there's a, a wedge I don't know what it is because it's a different color it might it might also be bamboo as well um, it's a fast bow um, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head but the average is in the 180s for 447 grain uh, arrow I like it um, but they, um, they watched one of my videos. Actually, what they watched was my form check video, where I was using this one. I said nothing in it. I, I identified it as a Chinese bowl. And that's all I knew about it, because it's unmarked. I purchased this on AliExpress. So they sent me a query as to where I got it from, and is this possibly one of their bows? It is. It is one of their bows. So now I know. This is a top archery angular bow. It is a modern design. It is not Egyptian, even though it kind of looks Egyptian. It's bamboo, laminated, as I've said already. 45 to 28. It's fast. It's fun. Oh, it's a 60 inch bow. Uh, brace height is like 9 inches. And I enjoy shooting it. I don't shoot it as much as I should anymore. When I first got it, I shot it a lot. Hmm. I gotta be careful. Anyways, so they sent me a note asking what it was. Haven't heard back from them since. So I sent them back. Yeah, I think so. And I sent them in, but I haven't heard anything back beyond that. But that's okay. At least now I know it's no longer an unnamed bow or a no name bow. It is a top archery bow from China. So if you're, I don't know, looking for something different, an angular 60 inch flat bow, bamboo, longbow, kind of, because, you know, 
strings don't touch. That makes it a long bow. It's a flat bow, guess well, it's flat. Um, angular because it's triangle shape. It's not a D. And it has a bit of a reflex to it. Not a lot, but a little bit. So, that's what I figured I'd tell you guys about. Those two little pieces of news, the one very annoying and very upsetting piece of news that someone was stupid enough to poach a deer inside city limits and that they also took three arrows to kill the animal. So the animal suffered. And the other, of course, is the random chance that some factory in China found me using one of their bows. So, cheers. <laughs>